Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Wednesday, February 15th, 2023. And the Lord's Word says, Subdue and replenish. Genesis 1, 28 And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Pastor explains that God made this world and gave Adam the first man the authority to operate it. He placed all things under him and gave him dominion to be in charge of everything, both living and unliving. Genesis 1.20 says, God said to man, Subdue and replenish the earth. The charge subdue and replenish bring to bear the mind of God of his creation and what he expects. He blessed man and charged him to dominate and replenish it. To replenish is to refurbish, refill, and rebuild. As children of God, that is the beautiful life to which we have been called in Christ, a life of dominion, blessing, authority, and control over the elements of this world in which we live. We are called to tame this world and bring it to subjection to obedience of Christ. Notice what the scripture says in 2 Corinthians 10.5. It says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. However, God did not instruct us to subdue one another in this world. Rather, what God our Father wants from us concerning one another is to walk in love. Hear what John declared by the Spirit. He said in 1 John 4 7 to 8, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. As we walk in dominion and exercise the authority given us in Christ over the world and its elements, he says, love one another. Each one of us is made in the image and likeness of God our Father. Therefore, do not exert undue dominion over others. Kindly make this declaration. Dear Father, I thank you for the beautiful life you have given me in Christ Jesus, a life of dominion, blessings, and authority to tame and have control over the works of darkness and the elements of this world. I rule and reign as a king in this world over the circumstances of my living on earth to the praise of glory of your name. Amen. As a reflection, no and refuse to allow sickness and its effects to have dominion over you. Live in the name of Jesus and enjoy the beautiful life you have received in Christ, expressing love to one another. Hallelujah. Prayerfully read and meditate on Mark 11, 23 and Luke 10, 19. With Herald of Glory devotional, every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius Jean Christ Lord, heralding the Glorious Church.